Neptune, the eighth and farthest planet from the Sun, has a unique position in the solar system. Discovered in 1846, it was the first to be discovered by mathematical prediction rather than direct observation. Sudden changes in the orbit of Uranus led astronomers to suspect the existence of an unknown planet, and Neptune was found to be close to where these predictions were made. Since then, Neptune has fascinated scientists and astronomers. Unlike the rocky inner planets, Neptune belongs to the class of gas giants, lacking a solid surface and composed of hydrogen, helium and other gases. However, it is distinct from its larger counterparts, Jupiter and Saturn, and is often grouped with Uranus as an ice giant due to the higher proportion of ices like water, ammonia, and methane in its atmosphere. While only visited once by a spacecraft, NASA's Voyager 2 in 1989, Neptune has remained a key target of interest for astronomers. It offers unique insights into the outer solar system, the dynamics of gas giants, and the possibility of diverse and unexpected planetary behaviors far from the Sun. This distance makes Neptune an intriguing subject for study, as it raises questions about how such a remote planet can exhibit such dynamic weather patterns, massive storms, and unusual magnetic activity. Neptune's significance stretches beyond the scientific community, influencing culture, mythology, and even astrology. As we deepen our understanding of this distant giant, our understanding of the solar and extraterrestrial worlds will increase. Neptune orbits the Sun at an amazing distance of 4.5 billion kilometers, 2.8 billion miles, and it takes Earth 165 years to complete the merger. This great distance from the Sun is only 1-900 of Neptune's distance. Despite this, Neptune's atmosphere and internal processes create some of the most extreme weather conditions on Earth. Earth's orbit around the Sun is almost circular, moving slowly through the zodiac, each year lasting 13 years. This long orbital period means that Neptune has not completed a full orbit since its discovery in 1846. It is located at the far end of the solar system in the Kuiper region. Belt, a region full of icy bodies, dwarf planets and remnants. Early solar system and placed some of them on paths leading to the solar system. For example, Neptune is responsible for the orbit of Pluto, a dwarf planet that orbits Neptune during its 248-year orbit around the Sun. Neptune's orbit also means that the atmosphere is colder with temperatures dropping to minus 214 degrees Celsius minus 353 degrees Fahrenheit. However, despite these freezing conditions, Neptune still displays extraordinary weather patterns, including the fastest winds recorded in the solar system, which raises questions about the internal heat sources and dynamics that drive such activity. On August 25, 1989, NASA's Voyager 2 spacecraft flew by Neptune, marking humanity's first and only close encounter with the distant planet. Voyager 2, which had already visited Jupiter, Saturn, and Uranus, provided us with unprecedented images and data, transforming our understanding of Neptune. This encounter was significant not only because it was our first glimpse of the planet but also because it remains the only one to date. No other spacecraft has visited Neptune since, and much of what we know about the planet comes from the data gathered by Voyager 2. During its flyby, Voyager 2 passed within 4,800 kilometers, 2,983 miles, of Neptune's cloud tops, capturing detailed images of the planet's atmosphere, moons, and rings. One of the most striking discoveries was Neptune's great dark spot a massive storm system comparable in size to Jupiter's Great Red Spot. The spacecraft also captured images of Neptune's largest moon, Triton, revealing a geologically active surface with nitrogen geysers, an astonishing find in the cold, outer reaches of the solar system. Voyager 2's encounter with Neptune also provided new insights into the planet's magnetic field, which was found to be both highly tilted and offset from the planet's center. This unusual configuration suggested that Neptune's magnetic field, like that of Uranus, may be generated by complex movements within a relatively thin shell of electrically conductive fluid, rather than deep within the core, as is the case with Earth or Jupiter. The Voyager 2 mission also revealed Neptune's faint ring system, a narrow, dark ring that cannot be seen from Earth. 
While Voyager 2 has told us a lot about Neptune, there are still many unanswered questions that raise the possibility that this mysterious planet could be visited. Neptune's atmosphere is composed mostly of hydrogen, about 80%, helium, about 19%, and small amounts of methane and other hydrocarbons. Methane in Neptune's atmosphere gives the planet its striking blue color. Methane absorbs red light from the sun and reflects blue light back into space, giving Neptune its color. It has a stronger blue color than Uranus and has a similar atmosphere, which scientists believe is another part of Neptune's blue appearance. Below the upper atmosphere, it becomes more difficult to form, releasing clouds of methane and hydrogen sulfide into the atmosphere. Neptune's atmosphere is divided into several layers, the upper layer consisting of frozen methane and ammonia clouds. Beneath these clouds are deeper layers of hydrogen, helium and methane gas. As it moves toward the planet, it increases in temperature and pressure, creating processes that condense hydrogen molecules into water. Neptune's atmosphere is very dynamic, with strong winds, large storms and large clouds moving across the planet's surface. This has led scientists to hypothesize that Neptune has an internal heat source, possibly caused by the slow contraction of the planet's core, which fuels the atmosphere. The presence of methane and other hydrocarbons in Neptune's atmosphere raises questions about the chemistry of the planet's clouds and the complex carbon dynamics of the solar system. Neptune is home to some of the most extreme and violent weather in the solar system. The planet's atmosphere is constantly moving with strong winds reaching speeds of 2,100 km per hour, 1,300 miles per hour, the fastest in the solar system. These supersonic winds are thought to be caused by a combination of the planet's internal heat and its rapid rotation, completing a complete revolution every 16 hours. Although Earth receives only a fraction of the sunlight compared to other planets, Neptune's atmosphere is very dynamic, with large storm systems and clouds swirling around the planet. One of the most famous features of Neptune's atmosphere is the Great Dark Spot, a large storm system similar in size and shape to Jupiter's Great Red Spot. The Great Dark Spot, discovered during Voyager 2's 1989 flyby, is a high-pressure system with winds reaching 2,400 km per hour, 1,500 miles per hour. Unlike Jupiter's Great Red Spot, which lasts for centuries, Neptune's Great Dark Spot is shorter. When the Hubble Space Telescope discovered Neptune in the 1990s, the Great Dark Spot disappeared, but new storm systems appeared elsewhere in the universe. Neptune's atmosphere also contains bright white clouds of methane ice that originate in the planet's upper atmosphere. These clouds are thought to be similar to cirrus clouds on Earth and can be seen moving around the globe. Despite its coldness, Neptune's atmosphere is stronger than that of Uranus, suggesting that the planet's internal heat plays an important role in controlling climate systems. Neptune's magnetic field is complex and variable, 47 degrees from the planet's axis of rotation, about 55% from the planet's center. This highly curved magnetic field was one of Voyager 2's most surprising discoveries during its flyby of Neptune. Unlike the magnetic fields of Earth, Jupiter, or Saturn, which are generated deep within their cores, Neptune's magnetic field appears to be generated by electrical currents flowing within a relatively thin shell of conducting fluid, possibly a mixture of water, ammonia, and other ices, located between the planet's core and its outer atmosphere. This unusual configuration gives Neptune's magnetic field a much more complex and uneven structure, with magnetic poles that do not align with the planet's geographic poles. The planet's magnetic field also produces auroras, similar to the northern and southern lights on Earth, although they are much weaker and more diffuse than those seen on our planet. These auroras are created by charged particles in the solar wind interacting with Neptune's magnetic field and appear as faint, bright spots near the planet's poles. But because Neptune's magnetic field is so wobbly, these auroras are spread out over a larger area than the Earth and don't follow the usual patterns. It is an interaction that is not fully understood. Although different in shape and strength, Neptune's magnetic field is an important indicator of the planet's internal structure and dynamics, as the mechanisms that drive the planet's magnetic field are different from those of the other giant planets.